Okay, welcome everyone, the Opportunity Launch family, to our exciting webinar. I know that this definitely piqued your interest when we talk about having um, an expert, a guru, uh, with that uh, with us uh, to share uh, some unique principles that a lot of people, including myself, you know, have not been privy to. Uh, you know, and right now, what we want to do is, first of all, ask you again to. Realize that the mind is, you know, just like an umbrella. It only works when it's open. And you're going to be introduced to things that you've never heard of that actually have been going on around you for years. Uh, and what we're wanting to do is help move your knowledge to the other side of the money, uh, that side that is not talked about. And we have just a person here to expand our understanding uh, here tonight, the wealth and tax guru, you know, himself, James Harnsberger. And James, welcome um, to the call tonight. Well, thank you very much, Coach Mark. Thank you so very much. And I uh, definitely want to, again, for those of you just getting introduced to this information, to realize who you have in our midst. So, you know, James, I definitely would like you to expand, uh, you know, or expound a little bit on, again, your history and you know time in dealing with this industry and what it actually means with you having the title of an enrolled agent so that people understand exactly uh, who we have speaking to us tonight. Sure, my pleasure. Thank you so very much. And I think the sort of the way to frame this, uh, I've been in the tax industry for more than three decades and um, I've been uh, at one time uh, a tax law instructor in advanced tax principles and concepts strategies. Actually, taught continued education to CPAs and enrolled agents, and even had some tax attorneys. Um, I had the designation as an enrolled agent, and in the field of taxation, you have tax preparers. Those are men and women who fill out forms. You have um, CPAs and accountants. They can also uh, prepare taxes. Uh, and then you have this special group. Um, uh, I think it's a very special group uh, of enrolled agents. The position of an enrolled agent was actually created and codified by the Congress in an act of Congress in 1872 to assist people um, after the Civil War to prosecute claims against the government for loss of property, horses, cattle, stock, um, crops, whatever. And there was so much fraud going on at the time that Congress had to intervene and create the position of an enrolled agent to assist those who would like to file claims to authenticate and verify that those claims were valid. And that position as an enrolled agent has been uh, a position that even predated uh, CPAs in, in a lot of the territories and states. And, and more importantly, when the uh, 16th Amendment was adopted to the Constitution, it authorized the income tax and established for the first year the IRS. Uh, Treasury Department went to uh, some links then to authorize uh, for enrolled agents to represent taxpayers in all matters before the Internal Revenue Service. So if you have a dispute, you have a levy, a lien, uh, you have an audit, an examination, a redetermination, an appeal, whatever it is, an enrolled agent is admitted to practice and can represent the taxpayer anywhere in the country, can represent any entity, corporation, partnership, trust, estate, or individual in all matters before the IRS. You have to take three very extensive examinations for admission. They cover all aspects of federal tax law. You have to undergo a financial background check and you have to undergo a tax compliance check every three years and do your continued education to remain in good standing and remain admitted to practice before the IRS. My specialty is representation. Uh, fighting uh, IRS disputes for taxpayers and small business owners and in strategic business reorganization planning. So that's a little bit of a uh, history note, if you will. Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, certainly a mouthful <laughs> for a lot of us. <laughs> and just, you know, briefly over your extensive career, just so, you know, can put it in a practical terms, uh, you know, for what you can just share on a high level, what have been some things that you've been able to 
help uh, some clients accomplish, you know, that a lot of us were not aware that, you know, that we could actually get help when we're faced with these types of crises or situations? Well, oftentimes on the representation side, somebody will get a notice from the IRS and not know what to do, what the notice means. More often than not, they'll stick the notice under the stack of mail on the counter of the kitchen and hope that it doesn't come back, and it always seems to come back. And at some point, it'll come back with the revenue officer attached to it, knocking on your door or your employer's door. And what I try to do is, is the minute that I am involved in the case is get a hold of the revenue officer or the agent at the IRS and stop the train. And nothing happens. You can't take the bank account, not the paycheck. You can't molest the client in any way until we get everybody off the train and figure out what happened, what went wrong, and then we'll work out a plan to start unwinding the problem and get to the source of the real problem and then start working out a strategy um, and in many cases a settlement uh, agreement with the IRS or representation in an audit. On the other side of that, I represent some very wealthy clients, very uh, top name in uh, the network marketing industry, some of the biggest producers and money makers in the uh, country. Uh, I represent clients in uh, the entertainment out of Hollywood, uh, film industry, recording, uh, music industry. Uh, I represent some pretty big names in, uh, in the real estate uh, space, and I developed a reputation of being tenacious, diligent, and I just don't let go until we prevail uh, and get to the end in a satisfaction uh, in favor of the, uh, of the client. And, and on the planning side, um, I've helped clients um, in that space and just everyday working people like you and I uh -huh. uh, literally save millions of dollars by properly understanding uh, your tax situation, not your neighbors, not Uncle Joe or Aunt Tammy, or your mama or your daddy or anybody else, but your tax situation. And I built that around education. And I believe in educating every client about their money and about their taxes and help to develop a healthy relationship with your money. Absolutely. And so one of the eye-opening things for a lot of people that they are really, you know, their, their eyebrows go up when you're talking about obtaining credit and, you know, not using your Social Security number per se. That for a lot of people seems taboo, seems risque. Um, you know, can you speak to that skepticism, you know, of what's always been a, a legal, you know, a practice that just a lot of people have never been privy to? Well, you know, you, Coach Mark, you bring a very good point up, and I think what people might be confused or why they have that concern, and I think it's a legitimate concern. There's there's something that's going on out there, and it's not new. It's I mean, I've been a, it's not my first rodeo. I've been around for a long time, but th this thing called CPN, a credit privacy number, and and I can just tell you that the storm on the horizon that's building right now, that thing's going to blow up, and there's going to be a lot of people that are going to get in a lot of trouble um, over that. I monitor and watch this stuff and developing the things that are developing in, in the news and, and, and stuff that's developing in enforcement, and I can just tell you it's just a matter of time, and I think that thing's going to blow up. But if you can look at if you can look at the situation in a very common sense, very practical way. You as an individual are a person. You're a natural person because you have a pulse and a breath. That makes you a natural person. So you can do anything uh, if, as long as you're of legal age, age of majority. You can sign contracts. You can enter into agreements. You can uh, set up credit. Uh, you can have credit reporting and get a FICO score and do all of those things as a person. Well, a corporation is also a person. It's a statutory person in that it's created by statute. Each state has something called a statutory corporations code in the law, and each state recognizes a corporation as a separate, independent person. And 
that person, the corporation, has to have an officer of the corporation that's going to manage it, and it has to be owned by people that own the stock, the shareholders, and the shareholders and the officers can be the same persons, natural persons, and in some cases can be other corporations that own the stock. Your corporation can obtain credit, can enter into agreements, can sign contracts, and as long as the corporation is engaged in legal for-profit business, conducting business illegally, and is in good standing, corporation can do anything that you can do and actually can do a lot more. Um, there is a new shift in the economy since the crash in 2008, and we are seeing this emergence of something called and referred to as the microeconomy. And you see micro lending becoming more and more popular away from traditional bank lending. When you go down to meet with your banker at Chase or B of A or Wells, you sit there for three hours filling out a mountain of paperwork to get a $10,000 line of credit, go back to your office or your little business or whatever you're doing, and the next day get the phone call from your banker says, well, I'm sorry, you don't qualify because your FICO score is uh, 105. And I get that. I understand that. But there's another world out here in corporate America that is capitalist driven and driven on demand, supply demand. And there are pools of money available through brokers, micro lenders, if you will. And in many cases, you don't have to fill out an application. And we help take people through the process if they have an existing corporation. And we help get the housekeeping, if you will, in order and help them go through the process to obtain open lines of credit. And when I say open line of credit, that's like cash. And that process can be as short as um, 30 minutes to as long as one day. And we can look at sources that we work with that uh, will make lines of credit available between 10000 and 250000 If you're a new corporation, the process is a little bit different, only in the sense that the corporation is sort of a new baby and hasn't been walking down the road of business very long. So it takes about 90 days to go through the process once your corporation is formed, you'll be assigned to a credit specialist with the broker. This person will work with you every week, making sure you go down the pull list and each thing each week gets done the right way, starting with making sure your corporation has a listing on Yelp the correct way. They will get you set up with a Dun & Bradstreet number the correct way. They'll start building three to five trade accounts that report directly to Dun & Bradstreet right away. Then after that's in place, help you establish four, maybe six merchant accounts. Um, for example, Home Depot, Staples. I've got a Home Depot merchant account that's got a $9,000 limit. I've got a, um, actually have two Staples, a, a regular and a platinum combined, maybe $7,000 limit. Lowe's. Uh, is a merchant account. These are merchants that have their own credit platforms, usually underwritten by Chase or Bank of America or J.P. Morgan or some of those investment banking groups. That's where their money is coming from. Then the third layer is building the lines of credit, the open lines of credit, the cash. And those can range anywhere from 10000 uh, to as much as $250,000, and it doesn't, um, uh, many of these don't have a requirement that you have a merchant, so they're, they're stripping all of your merchant processing off the top. These are absolutely open lines of credit. And then the fourth layer is when you have business owners, and we get these all the time, Let's say you have a landscaping business and you're getting ready to expand your business and you'd like to acquire two new trucks and maybe $30,000 worth of landscaping equipment. Um, so we can get that put together and look at your business, do a little bit of the things that you're going to need 
and then help you facilitate matching you with one of those um, micro lenders that will actually underwrite the financing and what they do is once they get that all in place and it's approved and that usually is one to two days on something like that you get a call and then you can go down to the Ford dealer and pick up your two trucks and go over to Home Depot and pick up your equipment but I think the thing to, to, to really help drive home and, and help people understand and this is what I learned many years ago working with wealthy clients and one of the things that is unique about wealthy people is they have some very common traits and one of the traits that they have all in common is wealthy people are very patient they understand that in order for something to be successful and sustainable you have to be patient everything is involved in a process this is not something that you join today and tomorrow poof we're going to throw some fairy dust at you and, and hit you on the top of a head with a little star and boom you've got fifty thousand dollars of credit this is a process where we're going to make sure that your corporation is properly formed structurally that it can sustain growth that it has all of the things necessary for getting you in a position to be successful and then work with the broker so that you build your credit profile the right way and part of that secret that I even learned is making sure you're dealing with those types of lines of credit and merchant accounts and whatever that are going to report to Dun & Bradstreet because what you're trying to do is maintain a Paydex score of between 75 and 80. Paydex is like your FICO score. The highest Paydex score that you can get is 80. And that's the equivalent of probably an 890 FICO score. If you have a Paydex score below 70, that's about a 510 equivalent on a FICO score. So what the, what the broker does is they help you establish that Paydex score above 70, 75, and try to keep it in that range by teaching you how corporate credit works, how it's established, and how it's built and for the long haul and um, anybody that thinks that this is something that you're going to come in today and by next Tuesday uh, you're going to be able to go down and uh, pull out your fifty thousand dollars in line of credit uh, that's not what this program does this program builds your corporate helps you build your corporation and helps you build your credit profile the right way the first time awesome you know thank you for really putting that in real perspective you know, for a lot of people that look for quick fixes and magic bullets, but are the same people that, you know, are, don't want anything that is, uh, you know, illegitimate, but, uh, you know, still want to try to usurp the process, <laughs> you know, to make something instantaneously, and those things aren't real. So thank you for sharing that, you know, real perspective there. And um, oh, My pleasure. Know, before I open it up for, you know, a couple questions, because we do respect, you know, your time, um, you know, being here and sharing and, and you know, giving us, you know, uh, a, a weekly, you know, webinar here uh, towards the end of this year as we go into tech season. Uh, just some other things I heard you repeatedly say. You said the word help several times, and you used the word they when speaking of, uh, you know, your team of, of people. And, you know, for the redundancy for a lot of people, the normally when they hear we give you knowledge or we give you a course, you know, they think they're just going to be left with a bunch of legal speak of information that they've got to go then figure out and uh, not really have someone, you know, to really go through. Can you just kind of reiterate that, um, you know, in, in regards to the support and, you know, the process of uh, kind of what it looks like uh, to the person here that, you know, just thinks that, uh, you know, they're going to have to still figure this out after they purchase this, uh, you know, course and support. Yeah, so when somebody joins and signs up and takes advantage of the position that, that you and I worked out for this program, um, it's pretty straightforward. You go into your back office, the member site. We've got a lot of goodies and tools, and that's being updated every day. In fact, there's going to be a bunch of new updates tonight. Um, the course is in there. The course is absolutely free. You can just download the course. You'll see, sir, toward the bottom, you'll see a, about six little buttons on there that have different support. One is corporate formation support. One is 
corporate $50,000 credit support. And you just click on the button, fill out the little form. It takes you about 30 seconds to fill out the little form. And you hit send. And that goes to my iPhone and routes to my personal assistant and routes to my operations manager. And then my team, uh, I have offices up in the uh, Hollywood, uh, California area. I have offices in San Diego, and I have offices in Dallas, Fort Worth. So my team is at the ready when those support tickets come in electronically. They get routed. They get assigned. You get an email. You get a phone call. You get a scheduled conference call with a specialist on my team taking you through the process. And then when we're ready to hand you off to the broker for the credit, uh, working with the credit program, we actually contact the broker. We let them know you're coming. We let them know that they are going to be calling you and coordinating that and getting you onto the track. And then that credit specialist will be working with you each week, going down a list that is unique to you to help you maximize the opportunity of building a solid corporate credit um, portfolio. And um, support is only as good as the weakest link. So every week we do briefings and we do assessments and SWAT strength, weakness, opportunity, find out what's not working, and we fix it. And we're not perfect, and we try not to be perfect, but we try to be consistent. And so support is all about the experience, and we just want people to have a good experience because we really want to help as many men and women as we possibly can. One of my one of my missions in life is to help positively impact the lives of a million men and women in some way with the talents God gave me. And so this is my way of trying to help business owners, men and women that own a small business, which is the backbone of this country, uh, really understand that you can do anything in this country that you put your mind to. That's what makes America great. But you're going to need a coach, you're going to need support, and you're going to need help unless you want to spend five years learning how to do all of this yourself. Absolutely. And again, <clears throat> with this, you know, opportunity that's being made available, you know, there's you know different people that want different things. Some people may already have a tax consultant. Some are just wanting to get, you know, the um, uh, credit built uh, information, you know, that's there. So, uh, with the you know offer, I know that you know, we've already discussed in our previous interview. For those that have heard it, that this goes for quite a bit more, um, even uh, currently out on the market. <clears throat> but right now, for our members, uh, we do have a great promotional price. Only two hundred forty-seven dollars. You know, today includes two months free of that monthly support and that team <clears throat> helping you and guiding you through the process, which is a no-brainer. And again, I know we'll reassess that at the beginning of the year to see uh, if we can continue that. But certainly this month, uh, a lot of people have a great opportunity. Um, for those who, you know, some are on the tax side, some are really interested in the $50,000 credit side, you know, what does that flexibility afford with the, the $247, um, you know, great price point that we have? Where are they able to go in those two directions with the wealth and, and or the tax? you know, uh, services that are available? Well, as a member, obviously, if they're a member of the program, then we absolutely, we're going to give them, um, you know, the the absolute benefit of membership, including anything in terms of service or price. I can tell you this in, in terms of forming a corporation. You, no matter what state that you're forming the corporation in, and there's a whole bunch of rules on that, um, you have state filing fees that you have to pay. Those are statutory fees, and everybody has to pay those on the front end. You can go on the Internet, like I've said in my video, and you can have LegalZoom or any other of a thousand vendors out there form your corporation, and they will charge you a processing fee anywhere from $350 up to $1,300. And, and the ones that I hate are the ones that say, okay, well, it's $349, and then Oh, by the way, do you want a book? Okay, yeah, then that's $77. Do you want a tax ID number? Yeah, that's another $80. Do you want a state tax ID number? Yeah, that's another $40. And so it's the nitpicking to death, or, or, or Chinese water torture, if you will, one piece at a time, just nickeling diming you. 
So what we did is, because we know how to do this, and we've been doing it for over 30 years, um, we'll get your state and federal tax ID number, we'll order your corporate book, your corporate seal, your stock certificate, your bylaws, we'll set all of that up, we'll ship it out to you, we'll do all of that including the consultation and, and giving you some direction in, in the things you want to consider as you're forming the corporation, and, and we will do that at our cost, our actual labor cost of $248, and you're not going to find anybody in the country that would even touch it for 248 and do all of that. Wow. Wow. When it comes to the to the credit program, the vendor has a uh, that we use for that program has a uh, retail product. It's out there on the market. It's thirteen hundred and ninety nine dollars. If you want to uh, use the wholesale product, there's some conditions on that. You can get that credit program for seven hundred and ninety nine dollars and go direct to the broker. Um, but because we have a big reach and we have a lot of people around the country, um, we get it at the broker's cost, um, and that's four hundred and ninety-nine dollars. And you don't even start that process till your corporation's ready to go and do it. But here's the thing about that, and I and I negotiated hard for this. If if at the end of ninety days one of one of our members doesn't have fifty thousand or more in credit. I want that money that they paid to be refunded, and we finally got that agreement. Yeah. So that's a hundred percent money back guarantee. That if at the end of ninety days they don't have that fifty thousand wow. or more in credit, then they're going to get their money back. And I wouldn't sign the deal with them unless I had that guarantee. Wow, wow! You know, real value, real services. You know, uh, definitely. You know, walking the talk there. Um, that's amazing. Um, you know, we definitely just want to open up for maybe one or two questions. I know we're uh, coming to sure. quite some time. If someone wants to raise their hand um, and knows how to operate uh, go to meeting, uh, now's the time we can take one or two questions uh, from someone and give that answer. Terrific. Martha, welcome. Your mic is open. Uh, yes. Uh, I've already got a business plan, and I've got done a brochure number. I've, my corporation is set up, and I'm in the process of trying to get some get some credit. Sure. Uh, you, would you mind telling me, Martha, how much uh, you know roundabout did you uh, pay for that, if you wouldn't mind? How much I pay for it? Uh, getting for getting that corporation. About, about nine or ten thousand dollars. Well, did you say nine or ten thousand uh -huh, dollars? Uh huh. Wow. Uh huh. I think no, I think it was about seven thousand. About seven thousand. Okay. Wow. Okay. And so you're interested in taking that existing business and producing some credit uh, with that uh -huh. business. Uh huh. Okay. Terrific. And and that's your question for James now. Uh -huh. right? How much how, how much credit rate costs just to just to do that part? So if it's an actual corporation that's uh -huh. that you have that's already existing and it's more than four months old. Uh -huh. Then we have another program that we can match you. It's sort of our fast track credit program, and we can start that process and have you uh, in, in ready and in, in, in position to start that uh, in as short as uh, five to seven days. So you would just do the same thing. You would join and and, and become a member through the offer, and that and that is the same cost. It's four hundred and ninety nine dollars but it's a fast track program because you already have a corporation and all we're probably going to have to do and I'm so sorry that you had to pay so much money um, when we could have done the same thing for you for two hundred and forty eight bucks but um, there's a few things that we would want to do to make sure that they're in place and sort of housekeeping stuff before we matched you up with those micro lenders but you don't have to go through that other process because your corporation's already more than four months old. So do I do I have to pay the two hundred forty seven dollars also? Yeah, you have to join because I won't do this unless you come through the membership. Yes, absolutely. Because somebody somebody called me and I want more than charge me thirty five hundred dollars to get some lend, to get some lenders for me. Some lenders? To get what? To get to get to, to get some money for me. Oh to get thirty five hundred dollars. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of programs out there that will call you and offer to get you fifteen thousand, twenty-five thousand, thirty thousand dollars 
but they're going to want anywhere from fifteen hundred to five thousand dollars, and they're going to take that right off the top. We we look. I will not charge you a fee to to line you up with getting credit for your company and working lines of credit. You need that capital, and you need every dollar of that capital. I'm not charging you a fee for that. Not one dime. All I'm doing is charging you the fee that the broker is going to charge. And I'm hoping by doing that, I will earn your trust and earn your business, and you will eventually become a tax client or a consulting client so I can help you build your business, accumulate your wealth, and keep more of your money. That's, I mean, it's not a secret. That's my motive to do this is I want you to eventually become a client and earn your trust. Uh -huh, I agree. I agree, and it, it's and it, I, I trust these people that's talking to you. I trust Mark because the other, the other guy I trust them. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Martha. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you know that you have at least come across somewhere that's going to help you achieve your goals. You know, without that type of um, predatory practice, and certainly uh, unheard of. I didn't even know that there was the money back guarantee for that service as well. So that's huge, and I'm sure that those other offers won't have that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. thank you for asking that question. And again, for others who may have, uh, you know, had questions, we'll be here again, you know, next week. And, and then some, you know, members that are a part of the course, you know, will definitely have our own uh, private calls as well uh, with James and really taking things to the next level. Uh, this is a very exciting uh, times I know this information is such you know coming in such a timely manner uh, right here at the end of the year to get these things set up properly. The last thing I want to just uh, ask again, just to reiterate, James, what are some of the things uh, in closing here <clears throat> that people are going to immediately know more about who've been typically you know some people say, hey, is is this information I'm going to be able to take to my H and R block consultant and they're going to be able to you know, do for us uh, better here this season or, you know, what's going to be a big eye-opener for some people when it comes to the way they've traditionally done their taxes and what they're going to learn uh, by purchasing this information tonight before we close? Yeah, I think, I think what you're going to learn is that there is a very distinct difference between the quick, down-and-dirty, get-it-right-now service, no matter what kind of service that is, and that of a professional. I am a highly skilled, highly trained veteran professional. I've been to law school. I've got my EA. I have done work for multi, multi, multi million dollar clients. Um, I charge clients that I do tax planning that are making that kind of money forty, fifty thousand dollars a year. I'm doing this program because I want to do my part to help every small business owner in this country get a footing that will allow them at least the opportunity to take that business and grow it and understand you need capital, then you got to do it this way and you need to know your taxes. And it's really about the education. You'll understand in a minute when you take that course, once you join and you go through that entire course, you will understand more about the proper way to form a corporation than anything out there that you will ever find. And I've been doing that for over 30 years. So that will be the big difference. And the second big difference is that we're going to be there to help you each step of the way so that you understand what you're doing, why you're doing it, how it works. And if you don't, we're going to stop until you do because I don't want anybody doing anything that they don't understand. I mean, that would, that's just, to me, that's just like being a pinhead. You don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So if you don't understand, we're going to stop and make sure you understand before you take the next step. Well, that's valuable. James, thank you again for your time. Looking forward again to next week and our uh, private course uh, information in the Back of Opportunity launch. Uh, definitely tonight, guys, uh, take action. You know, he's, you know, like he said, making this available, um, you know, because of the Opportunity Launch community and family, you know, certainly cannot stay wholesale at this, you know, cost for this value. So take action while you can now refer to others. Doesn't necessarily have to be someone in 
the you know network marketing or home based business space you know anyone with a traditional business uh, anyone uh, for that matter can benefit from this knowledge and information so uh, take this time to let more people know about this uh, before that price you know does increase back to you know his normal offer so thanks again James for making this opportunity available and taking some time with us here uh, you know for the next uh, week or so at the end of this year really appreciate it been all my pleasure all my pleasure coach Mark thank you so very much and I look forward to meeting and, and, and talking with all of your uh, great people thank you so much all right good night everyone